If I were to ask you guys, what is the greatest breakfast cereal of all time? How would you answer? A lot of you would probably say a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you say different, you're wrong. But even though Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the GOAT, there is a very, very close number two in those rankings. You guys know where I'm going with this. Lucky Charms. And whether or not it was your favorite, everybody can agree what the best part of Lucky Charms was. Those marshmallows, they were so good, so sugary. Now, what if I told you somebody took the best part of Lucky Charms and turned it into an ice cream? You'd be interested, wouldn't you? I know I would be. That's why I'm super pumped to be reviewing Salt and Straws, Pots of Gold, and Rainbows. Because what Salt and Straw did was they extracted the marshmallow goodness from Lucky Charms. They took it, they seeped it in milk and cream and uh, extra sugar and fat and deliciousness, and they turned it into a base ice cream. But they didn't stop there. They took more marshmallows and mixed them into that ice cream. I think you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm very excited about this. Let's see if it tastes as good as it sounds. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is it. So I know in the description, it said they used just the marshmallows to make the base ice cream. However, I have to say it tastes a lot like the uh, other part of Lucky Charms or those multi-grain pieces work. It's still very sweet though, but not as sweet as a pure marshmallow base would. Now, you guys know my opinion on uh, marshmallow bases and they're typically too sweet for me. So I'm kind of glad that uh, the base is not as sweet as I expect it to be. Not to say that those multi-grain pieces taste that great, but put enough sugar on anything, it tastes good. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? All the colors of the rainbow. That's my Irish accent. Actually, now I know what the, the base tastes like. After you ate a bowl of Lucky Charms, what do you do? You drink the milk, right? That's what this tastes like. A little bit of that grainy residue with the sugar in it. Mmm. Sweet, sugary, diabetic coma inducing milk. So as you can see, not much going on besides the marshmallows, but what else do you really need? Now let's get into the pint. A lot more marshmallow happening, which is the main event, really. Man, this stuff is sweet. <clears throat> a lot of marshmallows. I'm gonna need a nap after this. This is a pretty simple ice cream that really plays to my fat kid sensibilities. If you don't like sweet ice creams, really sweet ice creams, check out now. This isn't for you. But if you like me, and you're still a fat kid at heart, and you still long for the taste of cereal milk and putting extra sugar on top of your already sugary cereal, this is for you. I love cereal, I love ice cream, I love Lucky Charms, and I love salt and straw. It's simple. It's Lucky Charms ice cream made by the greatest ice cream company in America. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, you need to get it now because when March is over, this sucker is gone. It might just be my fat kid taste buds talking, but I'm going to rate this one a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.